Bible said six days you got to do your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Right. So this Sabbath day is not for everybody. You understand that? This is our day with our God that he gave to us. And there are things that we are supposed to do in it. Right? So read. We're going to show you the first tenet of the, of the Sabbath. In it thou shalt not do any work. So we shouldn't be working today. When the sun goes down and the Sabbath begins, we should have finished all of our work. That's what the Bible commands the Israelite man, woman, and child to do. Right. We should do all our work. Read. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. And we messed that up. You know what that implies? We used to have servants. Right. We used to have servants to serve us. And we were commanded what to do with them. So now, we, as the children of God, must keep this commandment of not working on the Sabbath day. And we must command our wives, our women, and our children. Right. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, excuse me, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. So that is one of the, that is the first holiday that he gave his people. He gave us the Sabbath day. You understand? So we're supposed to rest on that day because God hallowed that day. So that's what we, he rested. We rest. Now, let me ask you a question because we're surrounded by churches. What day of the week is the first day? What's the first day of the week? What, what day is the first day of the week? Sunday. Sunday. Exactly. So, what day do most of our people go to church? What day do most of our people get dressed up and go to church? On Sunday, right? That's the first day of the week, correct? What day did the Bible say that God ordained as the Sabbath day? You remember what it said? Let's read it again for my brother. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, uh -huh. and rested the seventh day. Rested when? The seventh day. Rested when? The seventh day. So the Bible, my brother, said that God rested on the seventh day. Right. But if our people are going on the church on the first day, are they with God? Or are they going against God? If God say go on day seven, but they're going on day one, are they doing what God said? Or are they going against what God said? Or doing what he said. If they go on the if, if God says, I want you to go on day seven. If you tell your children, I want you to show up on the seventh day, and they don't show up on the seventh day, they show up on the first day. Did they do what you told them to do? They didn't. Right. If you said, I want you here day seven, and they're like, man, I, I'll be there. I'll be there on day one. i get there on day one. Did they do what you said, do? No. So when the pastor tells you, I'll see you next Sunday, is he telling people to go with God, or is he telling people to do what he said? Right. What his, his, his slave masters taught him, because that's what we learned uh, church on Sunday. Right. We learned that in slavery. Right. That's how you know that we are still in slavery. You know one sign that the black man is still in slavery? One sign that the black woman is still in slavery? They show up in church on the first day of the week every week. Right. Just like master told them to do. Teach. But we are the children of God and he said go on the seventh day. Now get no buying and no selling. Since we right outside this store Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31 and if the people of the land bring where or any fiddles on the Sabbath day to sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. So the Bible said that on the Sabbath which is going to be when the sun is completely out of the sky that begins the Sabbath day. Right. That begins the Sabbath when the sun is completely down. So 
Our people right now, they got some time. But you know what? Because those churches aren't teaching our people the laws of God. Right. When the sun is completely down, you know what they're going to continue to do? Go by. Right. We just read in the Bible that when the people, the nations who are not our people, came around us on the Sabbath day right. to sell us stuff because they don't care about God. Right. How you doing, my sister? Do you know what today is about to be? I don't. Do you go to church, sis? Not now. Did you used to go to church? Yeah. What day? On Sunday. On Sunday. Now, what day of the week is Sunday? It starts off the week. So what day is that? One, first day. Right. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Now I'm going to read something out of the Bible for you that God told his children to do if they love him. Because everybody said, I love God. Until God started telling them what to do. I, I don't know now. So let's read what God said do. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. So you got six days to work. One, two, three, four, five, six days to do all the stuff you got to do. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. What is the seventh day? Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So sis, did you hear that? Read that again. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So there's a lot in that. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. Your God. Right. You understand? So if we're going to church on the first day, are we going with God or are we going against God? You're going against them, sis. Right. And what we need to understand is that the pastors go. Let's get let's get the uh, let's get uh, knowledge. The pastors who who pastor these churches, who stand at that door, invite you in. How you? Do, what's your name, sis? How you doing, Sister Michelle? Come on in here. Show now. Your shoulder is dressed nice today. Come on in. I see you got your pocketbook with you. Good, good, good. Cause the collection plate gonna be flying today. Right. Glad you got your wallet. Come on in. And you sing songs, and he makes sure he get the best. That's why I know people that play play piano for churches. They make big money. You know why? Because if he's really good, that church won't come on over here. Bang, 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 bang. He'll leave there. They work. I know dudes that only work on Sunday. Right. That's and the only job they do is play the organ or piano for church. I know people that do that, and they make they work one day a week. Maybe two if they're going to a church and they got to do a rehearsal, but that's going to be extra money. Maybe. But they make big money working one day a week. Why? Because that place is not made to teach you about God. It's made to get your feelings revved up and people fall all out and then your money fall out. But don't you worry about picking that up. We got you on that. Read. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. So the Bible is going to tell you what a preacher should be doing. This is what a preacher should be doing with the people that come to church on the seventh day, not the first. Right. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. So the Bible said the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they, the people who come to the priest, all of us should seek the law the laws of God out of his mouth. But when you get in there, you know what they tell you? The law is done away in Jesus. And right. just to have faith and sit down and you ain't got to do nothing. That's like somebody telling you, you need a job, sis. You need to get some money to sit down on the couch and let Jesus bring your job. You're going to die on that couch. You're going to starve. They're going to put you and that couch outside on the streets. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
¡Listo! 